like uh, electrical repair equipment moving in. Uh, at last report, I think we had 3,500 uh, residents uh, who were powered by LG&E out of power. I would imagine there is not much power uh, in this county right now, but it looks like they're coming to the rescue. Yes, it certainly does, Gary, but uh, the problem I'm, sure, I'm certain they'll run into is one we've seen before, and that's uh, simply the case of tracking down where the power is knocked out in the sense of finding the right line that's broken, the right transformer that's been knocked out, that sort of thing. This will, def this will be a lengthy process. By comparison, it took a week in Owensboro before they had power restored to everyone. The damage is not as serious here, but it will take some time. All right, thanks, George Sells. We're going to go to Julie personally now. She has been uh, throughout this area of Grayson County in the Litchfield area. Julie, can you tell us what you have been uh, seeing who you've been talking to? Julie, can you hear us? Go, Julie. I just from one of the neighborhoods that was hit pretty badly. I talked to a gentleman whose wife was inside of their mobile home when the storm hit. She didn't realize the storm was coming. She was actually in the mobile home when it was picked up by the storm and tossed on top of the mobile home that was next door to them. She was taken to the hospital by some of her friends. Apparently, she's going to be okay. She's just dazed, bruised had some cuts and scrapes, but the family says they are glad she's okay. Apparently, the kids were still at school. They were on their way home from school. They got off their school buses to find their mobile home actually on top of another. So friends and family are showing up now to try to help those families pick up whatever they can and get it out of the area because they said they are afraid another storm could blow through. Reporting live from Grayson County, Julie Persley, WHAS 11 News. Field is one of the main areas affected by tornadoes this afternoon. Our Sean Floss is in Grayson County. He joins us live now with the latest. Sean? Amy, the skies are trying to open up right now here, but regardless, we are submerged under a deluge of heavy rain this early evening. I'm standing live down the street from the Litchfield Industrial Park, and behind me is a factory where they make office furniture. This is the area that was hardest hit this afternoon. There were eight confirmed injuries total in the area. We don't know how many of those workers were hurt. The worst was a severe head injury. That worker was flown to Louisville Hospital. Now, earlier today at a press conference, we spoke with the Grayson County Sheriff, Joe Brad Hudson, who talked about plans for the future. Council by security, get the uh, phone uh, lines back up, electric back on. I know a lot of people in the county were down late this time. So we're going to get the electric back on, get all the utilities going again, and clean the mess up. Three confirmed touchdowns of tornadoes this afternoon. One patrol officer said he saw one split in half earlier today. Now, they said it started about six miles west of here and stretched as far as 17 miles out to Nolan Lake in this area. Our Scott Lehman joins us live now. He was on the other side of town today, and Scott, just the devastation random. Random is the best word to describe it, Sean. I mean, I saw buildings that were totally demolished, and then literally just hundreds of feet down the road, there were many buildings that were just left unscathed. So random is definitely the best way to describe it. Now, I do have some video to show you. I was on the Highway 62 called Elizabethtown Road. Uh, that's near downtown Litchfield. Now, apparently the Wilson Dentist Office did take a hit from the storm, almost completely destroyed. The Bailey Lumber Company across the street from the Wilson Dentist Office, uh, I saw the roof completely ripped off it. And we also talked to the Burkhead Repair Shop. It broke his leg. As far as we know, we can't get to the hospital. The phone lines are down. As far as we know, it, it just broke his leg. Okay. Lady was from the Burkhead Repair Shop. Apparently, that man was in. That man is but, soaked. Uh, she, uh, she says he seems to be in good condition. Now, the funny thing about this, uh, the dentists, they are twins. The Wilson brothers are twins, and it's their birthday today. So, what a birthday present for them. But honestly, though, Litchfield is very lucky that no one was killed in uh, what was a very, very severe tornado. Okay, Scott Lehman live here in Litchfield. Thank you. And yes, as we know so far, eight confirmed injuries, no fatalities to report. Nothing is severe. The worst one worker here a head injury flown to Louisville. As far as recovery efforts, they are setting up a temporary shelter at the Grayson County Middle School. About a half hour ago at that press conference, they told us there was no power, but as the sheriff said, they'll do whatever it takes. They'll get a generator running, whatever they need to do. So that is the plan so far. Scott will have more from the residential area here to find out how they're recovering with their efforts, and we'll have more of a wrap-up with the authorities here in town who just left moments ago. 
Reporting live from Litchfield for Scott Lehman, Sean Floss, News Center 13. Back to you, Amy and Jean. And this area is obvious, just like the business that you see here behind us off of Highway 62. State emergency management officials have told us it appears that three tornadoes touched down in the Litchfield area. More than a dozen people were hurt, about 35 homes were damaged, and more than a dozen businesses were damaged. State emergency management officials tell us it is a miracle no one was killed. Neighborhoods around Litchfield look like war zones. Mobile homes ripped off of foundations, roofs torn off of houses, and trees and power lines scattered around the city. Loretta Mattingly is one of the people who wrote out the storm. I seen debris across out the window going everywhere. I thought, this is a tornado. I ran, slid down the steps, crawled in under the steps and started praying. And it was totally dark and I was just praying so loud and I could hear it. I mean, I could hear things coming off the wall because it was sucking through my front door through the back. Mattingly was in her alteration shop when the storm hit. She says she can't believe she survived. And I, I was feeling, I mean, I was like, I was still alive. And I got up and came and looked out and I thought, it's so quiet, I've got to go back. It's maybe not finished. So then I came back out and, I mean, all this. This is what's left of her neighbor Brian Cohn's mobile home. Cohn's family sifted through the debris as he recovered in the hospital. He told me he's laying in his trailer and next thing he knows he was out in the field and he watched his truck. You know, flip up. Cone was found in the field behind where his mobile home used to stand. He just said he seen the right and then ground, and right and ground and then grass, and he woke up. You know, as I know, as I come back, got dropped off from work. Didn't see much earlier. Yeah, yeah. Leonard Throne, who lives in this mobile home park a few miles away, says he came home to find his home on top of his neighbors. His wife is now hospitalized. He was inside the hallway when it happened. He was walking down the hallway. He said he heard the wind. He didn't think nothing about no tornado. Thrun tells us he is just thankful that his children were at school. We talked to one of the teachers at the school. They said they were actually in the tornado drill position for about 45 minutes. Luckily, no one was hurt at the school. EMS and state emergency management officials told us that they will be back out into the areas tomorrow to try and assess the damage. But as you can see behind us, it is going to be a long time before Litchfield returns to normal. Reporting live from Grayson County, Julie Persley, WHAS 11 News, night. It's kind of something we, we weren't.